good afternoon my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking first of all as usual i need to tell you that how much i'm proud and happy with the performance of angela and the premium signals group uh, what we can see right here is the results since uh, 15th july we can see it has really high winning ratio it was uh, there was some losses of course that is totally normal uh, we can see really good profits on euro and zd with 140 pips profit uh, euro and zd as well 70 pips euro aud uh, we had some really good uh, signals happening that is really good performance i am proud of that we can see the rest uh, since 22nd july until 26th we can see it's full of green and that is really nice and really proud of it uh, we can have we can see that we have to, uh, so far a total of 24 wins against six losses i'm happy for the members in the premium group for 24 and 25th july it was just beautiful fantastic i'm sure uh, everyone is happy because of the profits they have made and again i need to remind you my friends that this is totally normal we can have some bad days and we will have good days it depends on the market if it's uh, following the technical uh, uh, analysis we cannot uh, how can i say that we cannot uh, let me just uh, put it right way we cannot uh, really control the market the way we want we just analyze it and hope for the best this is our performance this is how it is usually when we are analyzing the market using hit and run and using uh, extreme trader style this is the results we are getting but sometimes the market is just not loyal uh, there will be some unexpected news something affect especially the pound and the dollar so it might go against our will so so far i'm happy with the results uh, thanks to angela and really well done uh, please my friends if you wish to join the group you can just contact angela you can find her link in the description under this video you will find her link on the telegram you can contact her and join the signals group uh, the premium group uh, today so now let's go to the main subject and let's do some live trading shall we okay now let me tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to apply the 20 pips a day strategy and that's why uh, just let me think carefully of what i'm seeing right here what i'm seeing now is the pound is falling and reaching the very bottom of this support right here this is on the four hour chart go to the one hour yes it looks good let me look to, more to the left if this was a, a support level we can see the pair is right now actually a little bit below this support level which makes me worried that it might not respect this level and might continue to go more down let's go to the 30 minute time frame and see it i think definitely yes it should be good for buy let me tell you what did i see on the 30 minute time frame that changed my mind what i saw is actually right here this bullish breakout candle as you can tell on the left we had a strong resistance and support levels here let me show you so this is the level the blue line let's look at the left we can see that this level was here acting as a strong support not strong support it was a support uh, here it was a support as well it was a really strong one we can see that clearly and if we go even more to the left um, I don't think we can still see it anyway let's go back let me tell you what did I see what I see here is simply this line here this week here right here this week here if I want to uh, show it more clear we have the candle like that with a long wick at the stop followed by the breakout candle now as you know as i have t said many times on my channel for hit and run rules and the 20 pips a day uh, rules as well if you see a breakout candle like this one this is a breakout candle sorry my handwriting is bad and you need to look at the left to see the nearest support or resistance uh, to this breakout candle you need to see the wick actually that ne the nearest wick to this candle which in this case is just right here like that so this is the nearest week to the breakout and therefore 
the reversal usually will occur right on this level and that's why we can see right now the pair is resisting on this level it's not breaking out from this level easily I believe it has to bounce a little bit up before it continue to go more down it has to go up a little bit just to touch this resistance right here let me just mark it right here before it go down so let me now just go to the four hour chart and see it more and more in action so exactly that is what I'm saying we need to see that the pair bouncing on this level reaching all the way up to this level and therefore we can have uh, approximately I think I saw 12 pips right uh, just be accurate 11 12 pips yes so I would set my take profit right here you can see the candle is going a little bit against me but that is normal that is fine I believe it's just going down to create the wick of course I'm not saying that I'm, de I'm definitely gonna win this trade no there is a still a chance that I might lose the trade that's why I'm going to keep my eyes on it uh, just to prepare for the losses in case they occur now meanwhile let me jump to the other pairs let me see now for the pound JPY now let's look at that the GBP JPY is approaching a really strong support level we can see it I have drawn the support line exactly the way I'm telling you how to draw it in a way touching even the shortest wick among them and we can see the, the candles is still trying to go more down uh, let's switch to the one hour chart yes definitely I'm going actually you know what I'm doing to do I'm going to do uh, I believe I will increase my lot a little bit because this is a really good entry this is one of the entries that I really don't want to miss at all one of the very trusted trades is when you are taking the bounce on the second attempt so this was support number one and this is a very obvious support number two especially that I have drawn my support line in the correct way where I'm telling you to do, to do it by just touching even the shortest week or the shortest tail on this support so the question is how far shall I keep my trade running let's look at the left where is the nearest resistance or support to this trade it's just right here just like that why here because here look at look at this guys look at this we have here a resistance uh, let me just make it more clear here this one so in this resistance I believe the candle will continue to go up all the way until it hit this previous resistance and that should give approximately 10 or 11 pips of profit that should be perfect and great for this uh, trade and uh, right now we have these two trades running um, yeah the pound AUD is still going uh, against me let me just uh, see it more live in action I think that should be fine we are still fine yeah yeah you can see it look at it it's going up it went down only to create the wick unfortunately there's a lot of people who are just new to, the, to new to Forex new traders they just see the candle going against them and they just freak out that's why I hate I hate using stop loss let's say I have my stop loss uh, for example is here okay so this is my stop loss what if the candle will go down all the way here and then it will pull back so the candle will look like this how would I feel if the candle touched my stop loss and then reversed of course I'm gonna be really angry and that is what make people actually fail in Forex in the beginning because they believe in the myth of stop loss the word stop loss is really attractive you feel ah stop loss yeah it's gonna stop my losing I'm gonna I'm gonna save a lot of money because the, the stop loss will save me but you don't know that stop loss is actually gonna break you down and it's the reason why you are failing most of your trades just try for one month don't use a stop loss and believe me you will see unbelievable results in your trading experience just trust me do it for once please stop using a stop loss and you will be a winner and you will notice remarkable uh, improvement so let's go back to check our trades uh, GBP AUD is still struggling and it will go up I believe we need to wait for it uh, GBP GPY is going so far well 
in our favor so because this is a 20 pips a day video I want to keep it simple I want to keep it that way so we need to limit our profit and limit our losses as well that's why I'm going now to stop uh, trading I will not find any more trades I will keep it uh, smooth with these just uh, two trades each of them gonna give me approximately of 20 pips that is our target so my friends I'm gonna stop recording for the meantime and I will come back to you to show you what happened with these two trades and to keep you updated my friends this is what's going on we can see now the trades are going in the profit and the hit uh, it hit uh, the tech profit gave a really nice profit uh, let's see this is uh, this is the GBP AUD we can see it give 11 pips of profit and the next one as well for the GBP JPY it also hit the tech profit very nice trades very quick session I'm happy for this uh, very short video just wanted to show you an idea how to apply the 20 pips a day strategy now I'm done for today I will not trade anymore I mean I'm telling you what you should do <laughs> of course I will continue trading but I'm just giving you an example how we can use um, the 20 pips a day strategy if you just find these really uh, on spot setups I mean like like you are really on the perfect point to entry like you sure this is really clear second attempt or first attempt of a, of a support or resistance you should know exactly how or where to place your trade as you can see just by that I finished and I'm done for today just like that 20 pips and that's it so this was just a quick video just wanted to show you example what you can do and I really hope it will help you in the future in your trading and I would like to hear about your experience using the 20 pips a day strategy so guys uh, I will see you uh, on next uh, video this week we're going to talk about um, uh, what was it about about indicators so yeah I will see you soon guys I hope that was informative to you I would, I would like to thank you for watching